Hello. I was going to start talking about something. You want to know what that something is? I was going to talk about milk. That's what I was going to talk about and how horrible that is. But guess what? I'm going to save that for the next video. Because let's talk about something that pisses me off a whole lot that just happened just now. The stupid bitch that lives downstairs. Yeah, you heard me right. The stupid, mentally ill, crazy, dumb bitch that lives right downstairs. This fucking idiot. Let me give you a little rundown on this crazy fucking person. For years and years and years, she has come upstairs complaining like a fucking crazy ass bipolar, whatever the fuck is wrong with you. She's out of her fucking mind. You want to know why she complains? <laughs> Come here, let me tell you why she complains. Because she's stupid. She's fucking stupid is why she complains. Listen, you see, I'm sitting right here. I can get up right now. Just walk over and get a glass of water. And she'll go out of her fucking mind the slightest little she just wants me to sit right here and just like this like this just sit right there criminal sit right there don't move don't move a fucking inch listen if you roll your chair from where you are right here over to the television to watch television i'm gonna go out of my mind i'm gonna start screaming this bitch is so fucking insane that you could just hear her at nighttime screaming downstairs. No joke. Nothing's happening. I'm laying in my bed and you can hear <laughs> like her. She's just fucking screaming like a crazy maniac person. Here's the best part about crazy dumb people. And this goes for all the dumbass people out there. That's just, that's a different thing. For all the SJWs and all the lame people out there, I'm going to make a specific video about you because you're fucking lame. You know, shock culture, whatever you want to call it. But specifically, for people like her, here's the best part about society that makes me laugh the most. As long as this fucking idiot that lives downstairs complains, they'll take her side, even though they know for a hundred percent fact that this person is actually mentally ill, takes pills for her bipolar, and she causes a lot of issues. But guess what? It doesn't matter if you're the innocent person that's just getting up to get a glass of water. As long as she complains, you're in the wrong. You're the one that's gonna get axed. Hey, dude, can you? St are you? Are you making noise? Are you making noise? I'm like, how about I record myself in my room 24-7 so I can show you a video of me laying down in my bed and this bitch still thinking that some, she maybe she heard a fucking mouse running around in my room. And then she's like, oh my God, I heard something in his room. He's not supposed to move. I cannot wait. And guess what? I'm going to make sure to get footage of when she comes upstairs next time because I wasn't ready this time. I'm going to make sure to record her and ask her questions, question by question, like, have you been taking your meds, you fucking idiot? And guess what? Guess what? This bitch is also always drunk as well. So on top of all this, there's nothing worse than that, dude. There's nothing worse than the innocent. As long as they complain about the innocent, then everybody uh, questions the innocent person. It's just the funniest part. Someone could throw an ice cream at someone's head and then... They're like, who did it? And, the, and the, 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 the guilty person will be like, this person did it. And they'll just be like, what? I'm like, what the hell? Could you at least ask more questions before you just believe the person? Are you just going to go for Are you just going to punch me in the face because this person just said I threw an ice cream? And it's the actual person that threw the ice cream behind your head? Now, the difference between me and that person is I wouldn't be mad in general. Because guess what? If I get ice cream thrown on my head... You just gave me dessert for the rest of the day. All I got to do is take my hand, put it beyond my head, and just eat. And, and hopefully the cone is still stuck because I really like the cone part of the ice cream. So, that's I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. But I'm just letting you know that I wouldn't get angry at stuff like that. You got to look at the positive, okay? Like, let's say you step in a gigantic puddle of water. Guess what? The water that got into your shoes, instead of getting so angry about it, guess what? 
If you're thirsty, now you got something to drink, you dumb fuck. All you got to do is take off your shoe and drink it. What if you're in a situation where you're in the desert and that saves your goddamn life? Oh my god, my shoes are wet. It has water inside. Just take them and drink them. But anyway, so the person that's downstairs, fuck you. I hope you can hear that, you dumb bitch. I hope she heard that. Fuck you. You're a piece of shit. And your day is coming because I'm going to start recording your ass to document the fact that you're trying so hard to make complaints about something that has nothing to do with me. And if you think that I can live in an apartment where I can't just walk around and do this, look, my chair moved. Oh, my God. Call the police. Oh my god, call the police. He's moving his chair. His chair is moving. <laughs> uh, don't let anyone ever bully you around and make you seem like you're doing something wrong because in reality, they're the ones that are probably doing something wrong. And also make sure you document everything and you do whatever you got. If you're dealing with a horrible neighbor or whatever the fuck you're dealing with, make sure you record it. Make sure these people don't get justice because they're pieces of literal shit next video now thanks